Turn the power volume knob until a click sound is heard to turn on the device. Keep turning clockwise to increase the volume. Click the front panel input button to switch the input mode. The K7 supports four input modes, USB, optical, coaxial and line input. The K7 BT supports an extra input mode, Bluetooth. The iridescent lights will show up when the input mode is switched or the K7 is turned on. The K7 supports two gain levels, toggle the switch to low or high with corresponding gain being 0 dB or 6 dB. The K7 supports three output modes, low, pre and PO. When switching to PO, output switch to front panel headphone out, and the output volume is adjustable. The K7 supports 6.35mm single-ended and 4.4 balanced headphone output. There is a 6.35mm male to 3.5mm female adapter comes with the K7. You could use it for help when using the K7 with 3.5mm headphone. Now let's talk about the ports in the rear panel. When switching to pre-output mode, output switch to rear panel line out, and the output volume is adjustable. When switching to low output mode, output switch to rear panel line out, and the output volume is fixed. When using line in input mode, we could use dual RCA audio cable for connecting the K7. When using coaxial input mode, we could use RCA coaxial cable for connecting the K7. When using optical input mode, we could use optical cable for connecting the K7. When using USB input mode, we could use USB-B cable for connecting the K7. USB-B to A4, connecting to computer. USB-B to C4, connecting to Android devices. USB B to Lightning 4, connecting to iOS devices. We could install the Bluetooth antenna when using Bluetooth input mode in K7BT. The K7BT could not connect to Bluetooth headphones.